Imagine a city, an East African city, hot and dusty, bustling, alive with noise. Imagine a building, a house, inconspicuous, nothing much to look at. Imagine men and women arriving at intervals, one by one. Go closer. Imagine you knock at the door. It opens a crack, a nod of recognition. You're allowed to enter. Imagine a room, cool and dark. The windows are covered and the noise of the street outside sounds a world away. There are others there. You take a seat on the floor. Some people share Bible verses from memory. You pray, share what is happening in your life. Nothing gets written down, no evidence to show that you know each other should one of you be captured. The meeting draws to a close. You cannot meet very often and never for long. Careful not to leave any tracks. Everyone leaves the meeting place separately at intervals. This place is real. Mogadishu, capital of Somalia. And this is reality for the growing number of underground Somali Christians. People like Nishan. When he told his family that he was a follower of Jesus, they locked him in a room on their roof for 13 days without any food. His sister secretly brought him meals. Eventually his mother persuaded Nishan's father to talk to him. Now Nishan goes to the mosque like everyone else. But secretly, in his heart, he prays to Isa al-Masi, Arabic for Jesus Christ. Imagine, for us, attending church costs us nothing. But for the world's hidden Christians, attending secret church could cost them everything. And yet still they choose to identify with Jesus. Nishan knows of 16 other secret believers who meet at the mosque and call themselves followers of Isa al-Masi. And when he can, he joins with them, as one by one they make their way to that nondescript house. <laughs>